Well, this year marks 30 years since Rookie of the Year. Can you believe it's been three decades? No, no. Have your kids seen the film? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Showed, I showed my son. Pretty young? Or? When he was like three or four. Oh. Well, your kids are 10 and six. When do they get to watch American Pie? Never. <laughs> These four friends just might be late before their prom night. They're just not satisfied. 19, 19, 1999. That was a look at the lyric video for the Thomas Nicholas Band's new single, 1999. And the man behind the band, Thomas Nicholas, joins me now. Congrats on the single. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. 99, a good year. It was a very good year indeed. <laughs> Let's talk about the song. It's featuring Bowling for Soup. How did you guys come up with the idea for this track? December last year, we did a movie podcast. We watched American Pie. Right. And it brought back all the feel. And so we're on stage performing after the movie, and he was playing 1985, and he goes, you know, we should sing lyrics about American Pie. I was like, that's a really good idea. <laughs> so I, you know, sent him the lyrics. He's like, that would be a funny TikTok. Kevin just made a pact while his friends react that they all get laid before they graduate. And then I made the TikTok, it got a half million views, and then Jared's like, all right, come to Dallas, let's punch up the lyrics, and he sang backups, we worked on it together, he recorded me, and Bowling for Super Fine. So it started with some laughs. Yes. Okay. Well, let's throw it back to 1999, shall we? Okay. I wanna pull up this photo of you from 99. <laughs> Look at that youngin' right there. Oh my gosh. You know, 1999 was the same year American Pie premiered, but yes. what do you remember about this time? Um, I, I remember that earring. Uh, <laughs> I Look, I'm rocking it now, by the way. Same yeah, there side. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I love the 90s. <laughs> um, man, I, I, you know, I remember the 90s as well. My gosh, what? I'm trying to remember what. This looks like it's from an event because I look pretty, like, ready to go. I look red carpet ready. Like I said, it was the same year that the film premiered. And it also happens to be the same year you first sat down with E.T. So I thought it would be fun to dip into the E.T. vault and show you your first okay. interview with Entertainment Tonight. All right. Oh, come on. I really related to, um, to my character's experience in that, it, again, it wasn't what he expected and they both, you know, wanted so much more out of it. And now I'm gonna wait until I'm married and, you know, I wanted to before. It wasn't like, I wasn't going for the same goal. The thing is, from that point forward, everyone's like, hey, are there any questions that we can or can't ask? We're like, listen, dude, I was 18 <laughs> right. and everyone asked me when I lost my virginity, you, you pretty much can't top the embarrassment of that in an interview. Well, I was pulling that up and I'm like, times have changed. <laughs> I was like, times have changed. But I thought you would get a kick out of that. That's crazy. So awesome. Well, let's go back talking about the music. You're working on your seventh studio album. So what kind of stories are you trying to tell? Um, you know, I just, at this point, and, and always, just try to be honest and just kind of speak from whatever I'm going through at that moment. Sure. Um, so, There's you know, a lot going on at the moment. There's a lot going on at the moment. There's a lot going on. There's but for always you two a lot personally, going on. Yeah, 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 exactly. So I mean, but that's that's kind of like, you know, where music can be a little bit of your own personal therapy, uh, and then maybe someone else needs to hear that same message. And so for me, it's also about like being positive mm. and finding, even if you're talking about something that isn't positive, finding the optimism in that. I and that's kind of like my whole vibe. Is there anyone on that dream collab list? You know, maybe not for this record, but for the next one. Oh man, uh, there's, I, you know, Dave Grohl uh, would be amazing. We recorded our frat party album at Studio 606. Okay. But I've still yet to meet Dave. Wow. Uh, but everyone tells me that he's amazing. I feel and like that's so, inevitable. I feel the energy. Yeah, I, 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 but I want the meeting to be right. Like I've seen him at like my favorite restaurants in town, but you I'm like, the, not the place. I'm like. I could go up and get a picture. I'm like, this is not how I want to meet yeah, Dave. You're right. Um, you know, other than that, I'm just, you know, I'm, so funny. I, I'm focusing on on film as well. And so uh, my business partner and I actually just got the green light on a development deal wow. um, for something that we're we're developing uh, to f with a studio. So we're, we, you know, looking at like a really cool film next year. It must feel really special to you to be in this industry industry for so long and be able to do all kinds of different things and still going at it. And still having fun, it looks like. I really just like to be in the creative space, Absolutely. whatever that entails. Yeah. And you know, we were talking about before the interview that my son is following in my footsteps, which is amazing. How about that? Um, you know, with him being in M Night, his latest film, Old, as like the main kid in that. So was there a part of you were like, just wait a little longer? Just wait a little longer. You're too young. No, you know, it was all about. I, I started him in acting classes okay. just to kind of help him understand how to sort of control himself, like mm. in school and social environments when he was younger, when he was six. I see. He was really and good he loved at it. it. Yeah. Well, yeah, he was better at it than I was. <laughs> His first job was on New Girl, playing uh, Zoe Dashnell and Jake Johnson's 
Future Forward Son. I didn't know that. In the very, very last episode, like that last like few minutes. That was him. That was him. Wow, you must be so proud. Yeah, man, he's awesome. That's so awesome. So does uh, do your kids go on the road with you at all when no. you're touring? No, no, I they mean, don't. The, like the road is not a place that. That's the that's the work part. Yeah. Well, this year marks 30 years since Rookie of the Year. Can you believe it's been three decades? No, no. I mean, technically, it's been three decades for me since we filmed it. So next year will be the official 30th uh, in 2023. Wow. And uh, I think the Cubs are actually going to create a Henry Rowan Gardner day. No. And I'm like, that's cool. Also, why did it take 30 years? <laughs> What's your fondest memory of filming that movie? The first time I went on Wrigley Field, we hadn't actually started principal photography yet. Okay. So I went out onto the field in between a doubleheader to shoot Henry's first walk from the bullpen to the mound in like front of 35,000. Yeah, it was the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Chicago Cubs, wow. September 19th, 90, 1992. Wow. We had just been, we were in pre-production. Yeah. So we're like, hey, we got this thing. We got 10 minutes. We're gonna shoot you going to the mound like for the first time. And 35,000 people are chanting Henry. And I think for two minutes, my name in my own mind was Henry. That is definitely something you never forget. Yeah. That is so insane. Have your kids seen the film? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, showed, I showed my son pretty young, or? when he was like three or four, okay. and I remember he like looked at the screen and said, "Daddy," and I was like, "How did you recognize me?" <laughs> well, your kids are ten and six. When do they get to watch American Pie? Never. <laughs> no, no. And people ask me, they're like, "Really? Never?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm never showing them that. They they're gonna have to watch it at like someone else's house." Well, you were the wholesome character. Sure. I'm still not gonna sit with them on their first viewing. That's fair. That's I, fair. I, I expect to like get that like really uncomfortable awkward conversation. So dad, I was at my friend's house and I saw, I, and then I'm like, I got a phone call. Is this, well, I can't believe that it's also been like, what, 23 years since the first American Pie? 23 years, yeah. I mean, time is just flying by, huh? It is. It's insane. Uh, do you still keep in touch with anybody from the film? I do, yeah. We've, uh, you know, we've been doing like meet and greet events at, yeah. at Comic-Cons. We got San Diego Comic-Con coming up. Um, so, you know, Tara Reid, Shannon Elizabeth, Mina Savari, Chris Klein. Uh, I've seen them all at different events over the years. Um, and then recently I was in New Jersey where Eddie Kay is, uh, is living, so. I love it. It's so awesome that you have been part of so many classics that really do hold up. Like, I mean, people are gonna be watching this for a while and I hate to break it to you, I think your kids are gonna discover it one day. Okay? I, listen, I'm not saying they're not gonna <laughs> right. discover it, yeah. just not with me. That's fair, I think that's <laughs> totally fair.